Greetings once again all my tacticians and welcome to another video from yours truly. This time I'm going to be talking about, you know, how we could really improve some of these Pokemon. You know, I might make make this a series where I take Pokemon that, you know, you know they're not very powerful like say in certain metas except for like certain tiers if you play by Smogon standards. I, I don't really know what kind of standards they have either. Like what they're tiered, what Pokemon go into what category, etc, etc. But in any case... Let's talk about one of my personal favorite Pokemon from Generation 3, Mighty Yena. Now, I love Mighty Yena. I love the lore behind it. It's a really strong Pokemon. It's known as the Bite Pokemon, and it actually has the moves to back up the claim of the Bite Pokemon. It learns so many Fang moves. It can learn all of the Fang moves in Pokemon game. Except for, I believe, Hyper Fang. That is the only Fang move that it does not learn, whether it be via Egg move or, you know, via or learn naturally. Otherwise, it can learn all the other Fang moves. So, for example, you know, in Generation 7, it could learn Fire Fang, Ice Fang, and Thunder Fang naturally since Generation 7. Otherwise, it could learn all those Fang moves via, you know, Egg move. It can also learn Poison Fang. It also has access to the other Fang moves such as Crunch and I believe Bite as well, but then again, a lot of Pokemon learn Bite. And it can even learn via Tutu move Super Fang. So, it has access to quite you know, a diverse move pool. I just sounded really strange there. But in any case, there's only one thing holding this Pokemon back from being really, really powerful, and that is sadly its abilities and and its stats. As you can see down there, it has a really powerful attack stack, a really reliable attack stat of 90. You know, its speed could be a little bit better, and its defenses are, you know, slightly lacking alongside of its safety. But otherwise, with a 420 base total, it's actually a very reliable Pokemon in quite a few situations. Unfortunately, what keeps it from being very powerful is sadly its abilities. As you can see here, its three abilities are nothing really to write home about. You know, first of all, we get Intimidate. A lot of Pokemon run Intimidate, and a lot of Pokemon get Intimidate that are really better than that. You know, one of them being, for example, Salamence or even, you know, Landris, for example. But another ability it gets is Quick Feet. Now, I love Quick Feet, but unfortunately, Mighty Edda doesn't really, you know, have a lot of firepower that, to make use of that, use of that Quick Feet. Unlike my Jolteon setup, it doesn't really have access to, it can't really make use of its Quick Feet very effectively. And its hidden ability, Moxie, well, in order for it to make use of that Moxie ability to get its, you know, attack stats rolling and going, it needs to get that first KO. But Without the speed, it can't really get that KO. It can't really get that sweeping kind of status roll that other sweepers have that, you know, that would give them, give them, you know, the benefits of their Moxie ability. However, this got me thinking because certain Pokemon had their abilities changed from Generation 6 when transferring into Generation 7. Like, for example, the biggest ones that I can think of would be the, um, like Suicune, Raikou, and Entei, they all had their hidden abilities, etc. changed to like something along the lines of telepathy or something like that, or I think maybe it was something else. But in any case, that got me thinking, why not, Why can't we give Mighty Anna Strong Jaw? As we've seen here on, on, this, on the screen right now, there are only six Pokemon with Strong Jaw, and one of them has to be a Mega in order to do that. And namely that Mega being Sh Mega Sharpedo. It is the best use of the Strong Draw ability. So, you know, when it go, if it has its hidden ability, for example, if it has the Speed Boost ability when it go, when it's in re its regular Sharpedo form, it can, you know, protect that first turn, get the speed up, get more speed, and then when it's ready to Mega Evolve and make use of the of the Strong Draw ability, it Mega Evolves and turns all these normally very weak moves into even even, you know, really powerful moves or even more powerful moves. Like, for example, Crunch goes from an 80 base power move to a 120 base power move. Hyper Fang goes from 80 to 120. Ice Fang goes from 65 to 98, making it really dangerous against those Dragon-type Pokemon that are also Flyers. Poison Fang, not very powerful at its 50 base power, but goes up to a very respectable 75. Psychic Fangs. 85 to 128, making it the strongest of the Fang moves available to a Pokemon. This got me thinking, 
why not give Strongjaw ability, the hidden ability, to Mighty Yenna? Or even replace Quick Feet with Strongjaw. You know, give players the that that ability to give Mighty Yenna some really pop, some really pop, some muscle behind its power. Give it some oomph into its into its moves. So I went and did a little bit of math. Yes, I did some math here. Now, this is gonna be, you know, the the damage calculation between like, Mighty Yenna with its current, like, one of its strongest abilities with, like, say, Moxie. Unfortunately, it's in the PU category here. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Mew, Mighty Yenna here versus, like, say, Mew. This is, like, this, this is, like, one of the strongest Pokemon that I could put it up against, where it would have, like, a very fair, evenly, even match, and unfortunately, Mew here kicks its butt almost every time if it lands that Focus Blast. Even if it goes for the Sucker Punch, there's a big chance that it's just that Mew's gonna be able to return back with a Focus Blast and just KO it. So that got me thinking. Let's change it up, and instead of having Mighty Anna with Moxie ability and Sucker Punch cr uh, Crunch play rough and Iron Tail, let's give it the Strong Jaw ability and put it up against Mew once again. Now, as you can see here, it does say that Mew would KO with the Focus Blast. Nothing really changes about that. But here is where the damage changes. As I, as you can see here, I gave this Mighty Enna the Strong Jaw ability, and I gave it the Choice Scarf. This gives it the speed it needs to make use of that attack power and the Strong Jaw ability, combined with the various fangs. As you can see here, Crunch guaranteed one hit KO. Even with the Timid Mew, as long as Mighty Enna has that Choice Scarf, unless Mew decides to run, you know, Focus Sash or you know, like a choice scarf of its own, Mighty Anna is going to one-hit KO it all the time, all day. So, as you can see, that makes a huge difference here. Without the without the strong draw ability, uh, Crunch, even at the best, would t would be get, would be a gamble to get to, get to one-hit KO. One, only 18% of the time will it one-hit KO Mew. Even with the Sucker Punch, it's not a guaranteed one-hit KO. It only gets two guaranteed KO hits. Now, moving on to the next bit damage calculation, I'm going to put the Ice Fang against one of the biggest, one of the most dangerous Pokemon you'd see in, like, say, a VGC doubles team, a Salamence Mixed Attacker. Now, mind, mind you that this is, you know, regular Salamence without the uh, Mega Evolved. I don't know how a Mega Salamence would be. Actually, let's take, let's do, let's do a little, uh, do a little changing here let's actually put it up against like say mega salamence doubles mixed attacker you know actually yeah i also have to fix the level because i have them set at level 50 so there we go and boom one hit guaranteed ko onto the mega salamence now mind you if the mega salamence actually manages to score the first hit unless it's a unless they're actually you know one of them has like a speed speed boost etc like say if Mega Salamence went for like Dragon Dance, etc., or has Tailwind set up, Mighty Anna with the Strong Jaw ability, the Adamant Nature, and the Choice Scarf. Remember, it needs that Choice Scarf to outspeed. Will guaranteed one hit KO even Mega Salamence. Now, mind you, it won't have the if it if it doesn't have the every day. But let's just pretend we're bringing you know Mighty Anna in after Salamence has Mega Evolve. This gives Mighty Anna some serious firepower it desperately needs to make it really competitively viable and it would make Mighty Anna a really powerful threat on any team because obviously it's no longer just you know a Pokemon that's there for the intimidate factor now it's a Pokemon that has some serious firepower as it says here strong jar will increase the power of all the biting moves by 50 percent and guess who's the bite Pokemon Mighty Anna and guess who has access to a lot, and I mean a lot, of the Fang moves? Mighty Anna. It has access to. Let's see, of the f of the f of the various Fang moves, it has access to Bite, Crunch, Fire Fang. It doesn't have access to the Hyper Fang, but it has access to Ice Fang, Poison Fang, and Thunder Fang. It still has not a gotten access to the Psychic Fangs, which is weird. It should be. I wish it would get access to Psychic Fangs. That would be a really cool move to have onto Mighty Anna. But it has access to all but two of the fang moves that is some serious options for my for any pokemon to have you have access to dark type fire types ice types poison types and electric types if you gained access to psychic type 
that would just make you give your options even more po firepower. And obviously, Psychic Fang is the most powerful of all the Psychic Fangs, or of all, not all the Psychic Fang, but all the Fang moves once powered up by the Strong Jaw ability. So, in any case, Tacticians, I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is just my little, you know, thinking about how we could improve certain Pokemon of the past. If there's a Pokemon you'd like me to, you know, look at and see how we could improve it, if, you know, Game Freak were to actually improve some of these Pokemon of the past, besides outright just giving them stat buffs, you know, leave it in the comments section below. And if you like what I'm talking about here, you know, give it, talking about how we can improve certain Pokemon, you know, make them more viable and competitive, and giving you some, you know, thinking power into what we could use for these Pokemon, you know, you know, give me a like. And if you really like me here on YouTube, subscribe to me. There's, you know, there's a button down there. You can do that. But in any case, I'll see you tacticians in the next video. Bye-bye.